Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, here's an interesting little component called the read switch. Now, when I first saw read switches, I didn't really think of them as very useful or very powerful things. But, well, as it turns out, it always has its applications. Now, here's how it works. Essentially, this component will act as a magnet sensor, to put it very simply. Of course, as its name implies, it is a switch that will either switch on or off depending on the absence or presence of a magnet. So the one I have here is a normally open version. The idea is the switch is open, in other words, the circuit is not complete until a magnet comes nearby. So what I have here is a very simple setup, just power going through an LED, going through the read switch and back to the battery. You'll find that as long as there is no magnet nearby, the light is actually off. When you bring a magnet close by, this switch actually closes, allowing current to flow. So the question of course is how does this work? What is the magic here? As it turns out, it's extremely simple. A reed switch is essentially a little glass tube, and in it, we have two metallic reeds. These are of course our conductors. The simplest version of the reed switch works because when you bring a magnet nearby, you magnetize both reeds, and they basically stick together. As you can see in this particular video, the movement is a little subtle, so you need to focus closely, but yeah, essentially when the magnet comes close by, you can see a very small movement in the two reeds. This causes them to meet in the middle, and as a result, current is able to flow. When the magnet goes away, they separate just enough to break the circuit, and as a result, current doesn't flow. There are several other variants of course, for example, a normally closed version has the two reeds actually touching each other. Usually in such cases, one is made of a magnetic material and the other isn't. So when a magnet comes by, the magnetic reed actually pulls away. And when it does that, the switch opens. So yeah, that has been a reed switch. Some real world applications of this component may include a door sort of open or closed sensor. Of course, as you can imagine, one side of that will be a magnet, the other side will be a reed switch. And you will position them such that when the door is closed, they would come in close proximity to each other. So that's how you detect whether a door is closed or open. So yeah, there you have it. That would be a reed switch in a nutshell. It's basically very good for building a switch out of parts that don't ever come in physical contact or, you know, they aren't really supposed to press directly against each other. So yeah, a very interesting component. But that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.